subscapers and welcome to Within the Light quest guide. The quest requirements are mornings and part 2. Skill requirements are 69 agility, 70 fletching and 75 ranged and wood cutting. The item requirements are a weapon, two sets of mono gear and gas mask. They are obtainable during the quest. So put on one set of mono gear and gas mask and get one extra for an NPC. Bring one death talisman, one color wheel, one crystal trinket, one new key, it is obtainable during the quest as well. One tarnished key, it is obtainable during the quest as well. Check both of the keys if you have them in your bank. Also bring one bear wool, two silks and a bucket of water for making another set of mono gear. And also seven free inventory shots. The recommended items are a traveler's necklace with at least one charge, a crystal teleport seed with some charges, one super restore potion and four pieces of food. The recommended unlocks are Lost Stones to Eagle Speak, Taverly and Tyranwood. Lastly, there are some enemies along the way. You do not need to bring any armor other than the mono gear for those because they are weak. Let's go! To get the mono gear, right click your traveler's necklace Rub it and use the outpost option. Head west. You should see a gate along the way to your southwest. Go over there. Go through the gate and follow the path. Kill one mourner and pick up the items. You can drop the ladder. Use the low stone to Taverly. Head southeast. Go across the bridge and keep going east. Talk to Ticket. To your west, click on the laundry basket and steal the soap. Use the soap to the bloody mourner top and drop the soap. Use the crystal teleport seed to Lydia. Talk to Oronven at the clothing store. Select the third chat option. I have all I need to mend my trousers. Now we need to wait for a minute and I will be back when the timer goes to zero. We are back, talk to Oronven, and you should get the trousers. Head east. Talk to Arianvun. Accept the quest. Right click one of the mono gear pieces and use it to Aryan run. Select the setup on sure, take it now. Make sure you have your mono gear on as well and use the lowstone to Ardoin. We are heading to the mono headquarters. 
Head West and use the Agility shortcut. Keep going southwest, and west of the castle there is the door which we will enter. Go through the gate. Go north, unequip your weapons and everything else except the monarchy and gas mask. Go through the doors and climb down the trapdoor. Now you can put on the gear pieces which you removed, head south into the head mourner's room and click on the desk. You can get both of the keys from this, so it is the new key and the tarnished key. Head to the western room and talk to the gnome. Select the chat options talk about within the light. Stay undercover. Exit the room and go west. Follow the path to west until you see the guards laying on the ground. Remove your gas mask, and now you need to go to this exact spot on the video. Make sure your gas mask is unequipped, and click on the blank teleport crystal to chant. From your inventory, use the crystal teleport seed, and we are heading back to Latia. Let's go to the bank next, put on your morning gear and the gas mask. You can also deposit the traveler's necklace and the bucket. Talk to Arjunbun. and select the chat options about those tasks I need to do. I'm ready, let's go. Go west to the Temple of Light. Climb up the stairs to your west. Head all the way south and climb up the ladder. Head north and slightly northwest, climb down the stairs. Climb down the stairs to west. Go through the light door, click on the pillar and rotate it to west. Go west and enter the light door to west. Talk to Torkel and select the chat options within the light. Talk to Arianvun. 
go through the light door to east, click on the energized pillar to investigate it, go through the light door to west and talk to Arion Vern. Go through the light door to east. Use the crystal trinket to the energized pillar. Go through the light door to west and talk to Arianvern. Select the Cherubson. I'm not even going to argue. Enter the mysterious ruins. Talk to Torkel and select the Cherubson's within the light. OK, let's do this. Now you have to be quick. You will be buffed and you will hear a sound effect and see some things surrounding your character. Exit the portal. Go through the light door to east. Go east all the way and rotate the pillar of light to east. Go through the light door to east and climb up the stairs. Climb up the stairs to north. Go east. At the end, go south and click on the crystal. After that, quickly make your way back to the stairs. Climb down the stairs and climb down the stairs to west. Go through the light door, go west, search if you can, and click on the energized pillar. Perfect. If your buff ran out, you have to do it again by going to the dead altar and talking with Torgal. Now to see this entire place clearly, press ESC, Settings, go to Gameplay, Camera, System and select Freedom so you can see this entire place. Go north, click on the guard, to your east, click on the crystal tree which has some light coming from it. You will chop it, click on it again to fix it. And now the puzzles will begin. Rotate your camera to west like this. There's a yellow receiver and now you need to click on these logs and make the light go to the yellow receiver. Here comes the next puzzle. You will get red and blue light and they need to go to the green receiver. So it is that one and you need to rotate the crystal cores so both of the lights combine along the way and at the end they go to the green receiver. Here comes the third one. All of the lights must go to the red receiver. This is kinda hard to explain, but it is the same thing. You need to combine all of the lights 
before they go to the red receiver and it's usually a couple of clicks away from correct answer. This shouldn't be too bad, but sadly I cannot help you anymore. So you're kinda on your own. If you're ready for the final puzzle, the fourth one, let's go. It is the black receiver and you have to make all of the lights go into it. Alright, we are done. Now, do not use the portal. I repeat, do not use the portal. You will exit out and have to do this again. So use the ladder. The ladder will bring us to the next place. Now you have to jump some platforms and here is the correct route. So click on the gaps and make your way across to the ballista. You might take some damage because there are spikes coming down from the ground, so eat some food if you have to. At the end there is the ballista, you can shoot with it multiple times and you have to hit the moving wall thingy. So wait until it's in front of the ballista and shoot the ballista. After you are done, use the same route which you came to this place and climb up the ladder. Climb up the ladder. Go 
go west and through the stone door. Go west and click on the elf messenger. Read the report, go through it. Use the crystal teleport seed. If you run out of charges like me, use the lost on the Tyranwen instead. If you use the crystal teleport seed, you just have to talk to Arianwen. If you use the Tyranwen lodestone, head northeast. There are some traps along the way. Jump across the leaves. Follow the path and click on the rocks to step over the tripwire. Go east and past the trees. Go southeast and we are at Letia. Keep going east and now we just need to talk to Arenburn. Talk to Arenburn. Congratulations. Within the light quest completed. You can get rid of the keys and the color wheel. Now I will show you how to recharge the crystal teleport seed. Make sure you have 2000 coins. Head west. Go northwest and past the trees. Basically we are heading to the elves which require world hopping sometimes. Continue your way to southwest. You might need to world hop a couple of times, but you need to find Elunid. Talk to Elunid and select yes please. Then yes, and you should have a recharge crystal teleport seed. Remember to leave a like, comment or subscribe, and see you in the next one.